The Mojave Desert is the driest region in North America. With summer temperatures regularly reaching above 100 degrees Fahrenheit, animals and plants here must adapt to survive. The Mojave stretches across over 50,000 square miles of the American Southwest, primarily in Southern California and Nevada. The Mojave, together with the Great Basin region to the north, is known as the High Desert, with elevations generally ranging between 2,000 and 6,000 feet. The terrain fluctuates drastically between deep basins and rugged mountain ranges. It is in the mountains that one of the desert's most iconic mammals thrives. Bighorn sheep graze on the grasses and forbs that grow along the mountainside. Adult rams often live separate from the rest of the herd until the rutting season in the fall. Once common throughout the Mojave's rocky terrain, the species suffered a drastic population decline in the 19th and early 20th century. Today, scientists track the movements of each herd and translocate animals to bolster their genetic viability across their historic range. It's spring on the desert floor and the wildflowers are coming to life. Butterflies take advantage of the new nectar source and blister beetles feed on the tender buds. Cacti put on brilliant displays of color for only a very short time. They must limit their pollen production in order to conserve water. Here, in this arid land, reptiles dominate the ecosystem. Over 12 species of lizard can be found in the Mojave, and they come in many shapes and sizes. The desert horn lizard is a master of disguise, easily blending in with the caliche rocks. Desert iguanas, one of the larger species, are primarily herbivorous, preferring the bright yellow flowers of the creosote bush. The zebra tail is among the fastest lizards in the desert a useful feat when facing the deadly Mojave green rattlesnake. There is one elusive desert dweller that has lived in the Mojave for millions of years, perfectly evolved to survive the harsh arid conditions. It spends 95% of its time underground, and its burrows provide important refuge for many other species as well. The Desert Tortoise these armored reptiles usually live a low-paced solitary life, but come spring, they emerge from hibernation to feed and breed. Tortoises are exclusively herbivorous, but the low abundance of nutritious plants in the desert means that they must eat a wide variety of greens to maintain a nutritional balance. Mating is a clumsy affair and can last upwards of 20 minutes. Females usually lay one or more clutches of up to 12 eggs, depending on how much food the tortoise has been able to obtain. When the eggs hatch, the baby tortoises leave the nest and make their way out into the world. The Mojave Desert is one of the hottest and driest places in the world. Death Valley sees the highest temperatures on the planet and receives less than two inches of rainfall each year. But even in this seemingly inhospitable place, life thrives where you would least expect it. Desert pupfish live in spring-fed pools where they have adapted to the drastic seasonal fluctuations in temperature and water level. In the breeding season, brightly colored males race to spawn. Fifteen thousand years ago, during the last ice age, vast pluvial lakes covered much of the region that would become the Mojave Desert. As the climate warmed and these great lakes dried up, the pupfish were isolated in various small oases across the desert. Over thousands of years, each separate population evolved into a different species, endemic to a small area. The rarest species lives only in a small underground spring known as Devil's Hole. In the heat of the summer, animals must find ways to stay cool. Resting in the shade or seeking shelter in a burrow keep the body temperature at a safe level and reduce the risk of overheating. 
The Mojave gets very little rain throughout the year, and plants must be adapted to capitalize whenever the opportunity presents itself. Joshua trees are Mojave specialists, the iconic keystone species in this arid land. In response to the Mojave Desert's sporadic rainfall events, the Joshua tree has evolved a complex underground network of roots to collect and take up water. The crown of spiky, wax-coated leaves prevents further water loss, a critical adaptation in particularly dry years. Winter rains rejuvenate the desert. Many animals emerge to take advantage of these storms. Tortoises can take in water and reserve it in their bladders. The water supply held in the bladder sustains them through the drier times of the year. The Mojave Desert is a land of variability, where temperature and precipitation fluctuate seasonally, as well as year to year. The region has changed considerably over thousands of years, and species have evolved accordingly. Life here is pushed to the limit, and plants and animals live on a very fine threshold between survival and death. Today, human activity is causing unprecedented rapid change to the desert environment. Current climate models predict an increase of mean temperature by 3.5 to 4 degrees Celsius and a 5 to 15 percent decrease in annual rainfall. These projected changes will put a strain on the survival of the plants and animals that live in these already stressful conditions. Joshua trees are among the Mojave's plants most at risk. Drier conditions make it difficult for trees to survive and reach maturity. Joshua trees are most vulnerable to drought when they're young. In a changing climate, we may very well see a loss of this iconic Mojave species. Desert tortoises are also at risk for extinction, with significant declines in population over the last 40 years. Habitat loss and increasingly frequent drought conditions are the main threats. However, extensive conservation efforts are underway to bolster tortoise populations and maintain the survival of this enigmatic species. The Mojave Desert is one of the most unique places in North America. It is governed by a delicate balance of seasonal changes where plants and animals live at the very limits of survival. Disturbance of this balance can have serious consequences for the ecosystem. It's a land of great beauty, a special world challenged by the elements, yet full of life. The Wild Mojave, 